Well, Grigor, a couple of tournaments into the uh, European clay court swing and two solid runs in Monte Carlo and Barcelona. How do you feel your clay court game is this season so far? Good. I think it was, uh, it was just very important to start well in Barcelona. I mean, in, in Monte Carlo, I think it's 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 never easy when you when you switch surfaces and I think even early on in the matches, I, I didn't feel as good as I would like, I wanted to, but I was able to to convert those uh, those matches into into positive, simple as that. And and yeah, I just just want to continue the same way right now. Um, well, basically, there's three four tournaments left on the clay, and I just want to do better than the previous year, as simple as that. And every, how everything else will will go, uh, I, I can't tell, but I just know I think that I'm in the on the right path right now, and and hopefully have a, have a good start here and a, a good run. Um, explain for us, obviously it's another clay court tournament here in Madrid, but slightly different court conditions. Many people might not realise we are actually almost 700 metres yeah. above sea level, and it makes a difference, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I think especially the, the first days early on, I think it's very important just to, to be very patient uh, with yourself, to, to find the right tension of the, of the strings as well. I think you need, to, you need to change up a little bit. Um, the ball is flying a little bit more. And also the clay itself is a tiny bit more slippery, so you kind of need to anticipate a little bit more and 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 be on your toes. Uh, so uh, so yeah, I think it's it's it's, it's different for uh, for quite a few players, but I like those kind of conditions. Also, it's a little bit faster, so uh, it's different when when the game uh, speeds up a little bit on a, on the clay.